All right, welcome to another episode of Hashtag GK Says. <laughs> I tried for a couple of hours to do what I had to do before, and for some reason, a video kept coming out twisted and sideways, just that and the third. So, this is like my third attempt. Now I got things to do, and I got to go driving. So, anyway, where do I even start? World's gone crazy. Yes, we know. Politics, government stuff. Yes, we know. We tried to tell you so. You didn't listen. Everything came through fruition. Yes, it did. So anyway, uh, besides all that, the most important thing to me right now is, you know, my friends and whatnot. And uh, I got to post a couple of screenshots that I took to show you, like what I show my friends and what I show strangers, how that I'll show you the shadow banning and everything like that. But long story short, unfortunately, uh, NYPD lost an officer last night, which sucks. Um, firm believer in law enforcement, but yet I understand the underbelly of it all as well, which I will explain. I haven't come out in a while, and the thing is, is me, it's like, why bother? Why bother? Because uh, nobody listens anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me anymore. I just try to inform people of different things. But, um lost a lot of people in the last two years and most recently because i haven't seen anybody say anything about it and they probably don't even know themselves but my friend that i was helping out who was paralyzed tommy blankenship most of my people on my friends list that are from Ellen know him um yeah he passed away wednesday night and there was other people i was trying to get to call him and the five or six people i reached out to they said they couldn't or didn't call him. well it's too late for that now so Unfortunately, my friend is gone. Um, the videos that I showed before in my memories, of, I was talking about my neighbor in hospice. Yeah, she passed away as well. The old lady that I showed in a photo on my post last night who loved me to death because I always did everything for her and I never charged her a dime. And uh, Joan, she lived around the corner. Cool old lady, strong as hell. She used to do her own gutters, her own lawn, everything like that. And she was always awesome. She was like, look at your hair. And she was great. But uh, she passed away a few weeks ago. Tommy passed away Wednesday. Um, I lost about a good 30, 35 people. Still won't take that poisonous jab. It is what it is. Other than that, let's go to other stories. Remember I told you it took two years for me to actually say anything? The video that I just posted the other day from my memories, I said something happened to me that night when I went to go see my band Black Dog. But I couldn't talk about it until it was all done. Well, it just got done last week. Well, a couple of weeks ago. January 6th. Anyway, long story short, I'm coming home. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I get pulled over. Cop asks me, yo, can you pull in this parking lot? I already know what it is. They're fishing. They're fishing for things. It's late at night. I towed for years and years and years. I know it's the witching hour, but that's the time I'm coming home. I know my way. Instead of taking the back road through residential areas, I took busy streets for a reason. Because I know, because I know, are you fucking serious? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're a fucking idiot. Uh, pardon my language. Um, there's just people just like, they don't know how to drive in New Jersey at all. Anyway, driving home, doing the speed limit and everything, no problems. Past the jurisdiction line, boom, there is, there's a speed trap, which I always know is there. I know this guy is always there with somebody. As soon as I drive by him, I look. Sure enough, he pulls out behind me without his lights on or anything. All right, no sweat. As soon as he turns on the lights, one-tenth of a mile before the end of his jurisdiction, in which I knew it was going to happen, I picked up my phone, turned it on record, and I recorded everything, everything, everything. So he pulls me over, tells me to pull into this lot. All right talks to me for a couple of seconds i'm you know trying to find the registration insurance and everything it's my girl's car so i don't know where anything's at so i'm finding it do you know why i pulled you over no not really because i'm obeying all the speed limits and everything so oh you were on your cell phone uh no i wasn't well i saw you on your cell phone and i'm like bro all right whatever you'll never win an argument on the side of the road so i let it ride as is then all of a sudden it's like 20 degrees out. I'm in a t-shirt. He pulls me out of my car to do a DWI sobriety check. Really? 
okay, no sweat. So I go through it, I'm freezing. And as I'm going through it, he tries to trip me up in the test. So I was like, yo, that's not part of the test. So he looks at me and starts laughing. I was like, what are you, Westfield? And they was like, no, we're not Westfield. And I was like, well, you're doing the dirty tricks that Westfield does. I said, that's not even part of the test. And you're over here trying to trip me up. I haven't been drinking or anything. And as a matter of fact, you know what? I'm cold. I get back in my car. That's basically, you know what I mean? I don't care because you violated a whole bunch of scenarios. You violated like rights and everything right from Jump Street, but I let it go. Comes back and writes me a ticket for a cell phone. I was like, all right, bet, no problem. I just took it on the chin. I'm going to court for this. Oh, do you want to hire a lawyer? Nope. Y'all, you don't see you need a lawyer because the prosecutor's really good, this and that. I was like, I don't care because I'm coming in both barrels. I'm coming in with both barrels because I'm going to let them know because I recorded everything. So now, so now, you people are un effing believable. So now I'm coming with both barrels at court. I don't care about nothing because I know that I'm right. I record everything in the courtroom. I record the prosecutor. I'm basically guilty until proven innocent. He's not going to take my uh, data usage that I got straight from Verizon and everything. Basically, they make it hard for you to fight for your rights when it's a BS charge of cell phone. But anyway, long story short, um, I go to court, I tell him I want the discovery, the body cam video, oh yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. So meanwhile, nine months goes by, they never sent me the video or nothing. I go to court, judge was like, oh, we've been trying to reach you, this and that, we tried to send you the discovery and everything like that. And I was like, yeah, okay, I haven't got nothing. Oh, is your you know email address such and such and such? They had it off by one letter. Well, a couple of letters. Instead of GK, they put GH. I was like, okay. Now everything's supposedly right and they're supposed to send me a discovery. Never gets to me. I asked the prosecutor who in trial used the video evidence against me that said that I had my phone in my hand when I actually told the cop that I basically picked up my phone to record this incident. And what had happened was, <laughs> the prosecutor says, oh, that's no longer available. I said, what do you mean no longer available? And he says, I can't answer that. What do you mean can't answer that? It was logged into evidence. So that's basically evidence tampering or something like that. So it is what it is. I let it ride. We go back to court. The judge tells me, oh, it's a late Christmas gift, this and that. You know, they're going to dismiss the charges and everything. And I told the judge, I said, I'm a fortune teller. I already knew because when we went to trial and the prosecutor tried to bring the video evidence and use three to four words out of a complete sentence, God said, I'm not going to let you railroad this boy. That's what God did. Because when she looked at it, she was like, I hear audio, but I don't see the picture. And right in court, I said, Your Honor, that's because they're trying to nitpick four, sentence, four words out of a sentence out of the whole video. They're not showing you everything. And she was like, well, I want to see everything. And I was like, so do I. They didn't want to show that. So meanwhile, that tape disappeared. Meanwhile, you're telling me, oh, it's a late Christmas gift for me? No, it's not a late Christmas gift for me. What it is, is you are lucky, very lucky, that I didn't get that dash cam video because I tell you what, I would have put it here with you so everybody could see just the trials and tribulations that guys like me go through every day for being in the wrong place at the wrong time, not even doing nothing wrong. Very wrong. Anyway, they dismiss everything and I told her, I'm a fortune teller, I knew that was coming because you didn't want to see, which is all right. I don't care, I don't have to pay a dime. They wanted to charge me $200 just to get the transcripts from the beginning of the trial. Okay. It's not happening. Sooner or later, people are going to learn. I'm not the one to play with. I won't win an argument on the side of the road, but I tell you what, I'll get a lawyer if I have to. I'll go to court when I have to, and I will state my case because I was coming at this dude with both barrels. I had so many, so many things just on the beginning of his testimony that was going to shoot him down. 
They didn't give me that chance. And I recorded all of that on my GoPro, which I'll post later. Anyway, not to say all are bad. Meanwhile, I get caught doing something stupid on the highway because people don't know how to drive out here. And uh, I do what I gotta do. And I get out of the cluster F and sure enough, Come on, don't be a jerk off. Don't be a jerk off. Don't, don't. That's what I thought. So anyway, whew, these people out here, I swear to God. Um, I get caught doing something wrong, of course. And uh, I pull immediately over. The trooper was like, I appreciate you pulling right over. I'll take that into consideration. Thanks, dude, because I already knew I, already knew I did wrong. It's just what it is. When you get caught doing something wrong, don't be belligerent. Don't be stupid. You'll be fine. Be nice. And that's what I was. I was being nice. He was going to give me a warning. Then he realized who I looked like. Didn't even give me a warning. Just gave me all my credentials back. Started talking to me. I was talking to him for a half an hour on the side of the highway, which was awesome. Some cops are really, really good. Some... You see him on the news. <sighs> what are you going to do? Now, what we see going on today is just completely off the hook. It really is. And those of us who you call conspiracy theorists have told you nothing but truths. And so far, I think the count is 16 and 0 where we're right and you're wrong. But that's neither here nor there because everybody's programmed real easy through the news and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And you're going to listen. It's like, yeah, yeah. Stop being stupid. Anyway, other unfortunate news was uh, you saw me post the other day was a lady and her son went into Newmarket Pond in Piscataway. That was really sad because in the late 70s, early 80s, there used to be two to 300 people on the pond ice skating, playing hockey and things like that. And we used to have a bonfire right up under the bridge. There was that little island, a little dirt island we used to light fires on. Nobody ever had a problem. Everything was good. And then come to find out this lady with her son, nine months old, perished in that pond. It's like, really, yo? I've been telling you how to avoid catastrophes all this time and nobody listens. And that's all right too, because I'll tell you what, I posted a cat video on my timeline just for S and giggles. And I think I got like, I don't know, 10 responses. I posted that same video to a bunch of strangers in a different group just for S and giggles. We're, we're up to a thousand. So it seems more likely for me to go out and post on YouTube and different groups and different videos and whatnot, not to my friends, but to the people that don't know me, because that seems where it makes the most sense, because everybody seems to understand what I'm saying. It is what it is. You call it shadow banning or slow banning or bottom of the news feed and everything else that they're doing and your fact checkers. Yeah, straight up. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Whatever. The world's gone crazy, but the thing is, is it's only the parts that you see. It's not the parts that you're part of, depending on who you are. Ask yourself this. When was the last time you saw me face to face? When was the last time you came by my house face to face? When was the last time you invited me face to face? Few and far between. Not many of you even have pictures of me which is okay. Me, I'm the traveler. I go around and see everybody because those are the people that I care about. And a lot of people that I care about have passed away or gone here or moved here or this, that, or the third. And I still go out of my way to do certain things. How many of you go out of your way to see people that you haven't seen in a while? I've called 101 people on Messenger and I'll say 30, 40 answered the call. The other 70, 80 that I tried to call you, do FaceTime and everything like that. It is what it is. One of the memes was, don't expect you from anybody. And my father's always told me, don't trust nobody. So it's one of the things I expected. But I always tried to see good in people. And guess what? 
no. No, no more. There's people that I see, you know, back and forth, this, that, and the third. There's people that I'll go to see no matter what. And there's others. Thought you were cool. Thought you were my friend and everything like that. It is what it is. But there's a lot of you out there. The ones that have called me and sidelined and everything like that. You all are awesome. I give you that. There's a lot of people out there that can't even respond to my posts because of the people that they're employed by or the friends that they are encircled with that deal with their way of living. That's the saddest part. That's the saddest part. I can't say hi to Joe because Joe is conservative. But meanwhile, you know, Karen, Jennifer, and Stephanie that work on my board at my job might see me talking to Joe and put a kibosh on my lifestyle. That's the sad part that you don't see. Me? Always true. Always honest. Don't give a f <laughs> about much except my peoples. That's it. I don't understand having these people anymore. You just listen to anything, but you won't listen to the truth. So be it. It is what it is. I won't be taking your poison. That's a hill that I'll die on. There's people out there fighting for your rights and you call them terrorists. You're wrong. You don't understand the big picture of things and I see it all the time. And those of you who are higher educated, higher echelon, better eloquence, and you know the sentences and you know the paragraphs and you know what should be wearing with the semicolon and the column, please. Your average person who's out here trying to make a living, trying to feed their family and everything like that doesn't care about your higher echelon. They just want to hear realness. That's why I'm here. But I've taken up enough of your time. I said it was going to be a montage. There's a whole bunch of other things I just didn't get to. I had to do this in my car, and now I see why people do it in their car because it's quiet. <laughs> but um, God bless you all. Good luck. Good luck. You'll miss me when I'm gone. Peace.